All right, what's up, everyone? I am the Ninja Gaidon. This is a uh, walkthrough of uh, Rainbow Six Siege Outbreak. It just came out yesterday. It's a timed event. Figured I'd get on it and do something a little different. So if you're interested in this kind of content with commentary versus without versus live streams, um, you know, let me know. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, there's two different game modes. There's normal and pandemic. Pandemic has friendly fire on, tough for enemies, etc. Normal is kind of just casual, no friendly fire. Probably, you know, less of a health pool for enemies, and I think you have, like, one boss instead of two bosses on normal. Um, there's a couple of, uh, like, cutscenes. I'll probably start that with, uh, depending on the map we get, I'll start that with, uh, start the video with that. And uh, without further ado, let's go. Maybe she has a vaccine. Maybe she has a cure. Maybe I can stop working in a quarantine tent that's lined with claymores and C4. You're a humanitarian, and I'm not sure you can afford to be. You have a better option on the table? Because we're barely containing this. And I hope you have a solution that doesn't involve a nuclear response. I heard the talk. Okay. Let's try it your way. Let's extract Dr. McIntosh and pray to God she's got answers we can use. Merci. All right, so Sierra Veterans Wing Part 1. I believe this is like a, a extract the doctor kind of a mission. Um, like escort the hostage. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to play as Ash. Using the G36, I like it better for close quarters. And most of this combat is close quarters. Dr. McIntosh is holed up in the serology lab, but external comms just went dark. Reach your location ASAP. All right, so, so you do have like a flashlight. You can turn it off and on. Um, it'll kind of attract NPCs, I guess, you know, but I usually leave it on actually. Alright, so we made it here, we just need to, well, watch out. There's gonna be a bunch of these yellow enemies that, like, blow up and we shoot them. I don't think they're called breachers, I think? I could be wrong. And then there's, like, just, you know, regular zombies. I don't know, you would have to, let me go ahead and throw some C4 here. Ambush ahead, stay clear. I've got multiple hostiles, I don't like being in one clustered area, like a lot of times. Oh shit. Those things are called rooters. I do know that. They are killer. Oh man. Did I get it? No, he's only coming after me, because I'm out in the open. I think we got him. Probably because my flashlight? I don't know, they have flashlights. Alright, we're good. Resupply. Here. Oh shit, no, we didn't get it. I thought I killed it, but I guess not. Close the door. Okay. It's likely they know where we're going as well. If that was their strongest attack, I'd say we have nothing to worry It is a little finicky with the opening and closing doors. I don't know why. It's just kind of weird. Oh, uh, he's lucky I killed that thing. He would have taken damage. But I got it with a headshot. Oh, 
I always shoot the lambs. So yeah, I mean, this is kind of like their... Kind of like, you know, Rainbow Six Siege Zombies version, I guess you'd say. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, it's, you know, it's it gets monotonous because there's only the three maps and... You can only do it kind of one way, you know what I mean? There's the other game mode, which is a little more challenging. Um, a lot more challenging. But it's definitely a good way, it's a good way to play the game if you haven't played for a long time online and you just want to get the mechanics back. Because I haven't played this game much at all the last couple of years, as you guys know. I want to make sure we clear these enemies out first. The dock should be close by. Hopefully this guy doesn't just trigger this without... I'd like to put the reinforcements up, I think it definitely helps. I don't know why no one uses the reinforcements. Located. They'll probably start it while I'm still planting them, you know. But you want to make sure you clear out the enemies too before you put them all up because they'll destroy them while you're while you're setting up. All right, looks like he didn't trigger it at least. I can put him right here. Yeah. Eh, I'm not gonna grab health. See, you want, what you want is one guy to stay out here on the patio. What is this guy doing? There are grenades down there. I don't know. I wish I had the other gun. waiting for him to get up here. I don't know. He doesn't know how to. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go out in the hallway. I like to cover this. No, 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 no! Roach is swarming your way. Protect the okay. doctor at all costs. I'll come out this way. As long as they cover that balcony... This is like the best spot for me. I didn't mean to put that C4 on there, by the way. I should have picked it back up. But it might not be the worst idea in the world. If you're wondering, I've, I've been pretty sick this last few days, so I've had some extra time to play and record some content, although I feel like crap. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm trying to uh, mix some things up on my channel and see how you guys like it. I've been playing a little bit of everything lately. I even played some Fallout 4 for the first time yesterday just to try it out. I've never played it. Other than maybe the first like half, a half hour of the game originally when it came out. Because Tomb Raider came out the same day, if I remember correctly. Oh shit. Oh god, of course I get this fucker again. That was good. Oh, he had a rough time in here, I guess. Do a melee. The takedown animation is kind of like... Alright, we got ammo. Let's grab some... Oh, I definitely need health. Oh, dude, they used all the health. I didn't even get it. There's a... 
There's grenades down here. I shouldn't have done that. I don't think there's health, though. There's gadgets. Okay, I, done. I mean, I could have waited. Oh, no, there is health. Okay. All right, where'd they put the hostage? That's what we need to find out. I've had a lot worse times with that part, so that went pretty well, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll get full ammo and everything after. What I hate is the next phase when uh, when you get a squad that doesn't, like, someone doesn't watch the front, someone doesn't watch the back. Everyone's just going forward, and there's a lot of guys that'll come up behind you. All right, he's got it. All right. This part is actually this this uh mission has the hardest, easiest ending. Trying to get in front of him, so he doesn't have to. He just keeps moving too fast. He's a good shot, though. In here. Grab that jet injector for me. I'll need it to build a prototype vaccine. All right, we'll probably get a big guy here. This can be a pain in the neck. By the book. If you don't know what you're doing, or don't execute it properly. Like, a lot of them, like, tend to lead them towards the hostage. Like, when they get the big guy coming, they keep going to the hostage. Like, as if they're going to protect them, but it's actually just doing damage instead of just killing them. I think we got the boss thing. It was good. good uh, duck. Nice. Made short work of that. Grab some ammo. Ammo crate here. I'll go. Macintosh. There's a rooter.
Oh no, there's two. Maybe there's just more than one, and I just keep thinking there's only one. Yeah, now we gotta go back here. Yeah. I just got a little ahead of myself. Yeah, I'm a little low on ammo. Let me grab ammo. Ammo up. Doors jammed up, and I'm reading a mess of hostiles headed your way. Protect the dock, and be ready to haul ass the moment that door opens. He's watching that other one. I was waiting to see if he was in. Oh, he's not. I was going to let him kill. Oh, man. I was going to let him kill the ones coming down the hallway. Just, just to make sure he was watching it. Nice. He headshotted it. There we go. Well done, well done. This part's usually, this should be pretty easy. If you have a hard time with this part, probably just got a bad squad. But the very ending part is like really easy. I wish he'd let me go first. I'm trying to get in front of him and it. Like, he sees a chill, not someone going in front of him that doesn't have a hostage and a pistol. He's, he's a good shot, though. He knows what he's doing. The other guy's got the back. He's way back there, though. I didn't realize Doc, like, Doc pushed up to the front. He should have been watching the back. We're good, though. Now this is probably a lot harder on like pandemic because obviously like just killing all those guys right there we would have been so screwed. That's right. Yeah, see, because he's kind of like usually the boss would just be like st stuck down there. You can just fire explosives and destroy him pretty easily. And they're all just kind of coming through that one spot. You know, it's pretty easy. Yeah. I thought I'd actually have him dead by the time he got that off. The one thing you don't get is like a, oh no, there is grenades. Jaeger, get in there and bring him home. Nice shooting. Now let's get out of here. Alright. 
And that's it, guys. Um, if you guys want to see some more of this, uh, the other map types and game modes, uh, leave a comment, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Excellent work. Stand by for debrief. Have a good I'm day. You would expect anything less. Peace.